Good afternoon, welcome back to the shack. It's Ricky G Z O L Z X. I did a little video yesterday regarding putting the 40 meter loop antenna up uh, in replacement of my NFED half wave antenna, and I did come mention that I had a new addition to the shack. Now this is the ICOM IC7100. Before I start, I've got no affiliation with ICOM, uh, although I do have an ID5100, my main set is the FTDX 101 MP and I've also got a Yesu FT, FTM 400 so this has got nothing at all to do with ICOM or pushing ICOM radios uh, I, need, I wanted another radio for the shack and because I'm short on desk space as you can see it was a bit difficult to get another set in so I decided to have a look again at the IC7100 now it's a cracking little radio. It gives you the option of mounting the radio itself, which is behind the monitor there. Um, but having the head on the desk by itself, I've printed a little stand for this, by the way, that usually sits at like 45 degrees. Uh, and I prefer the, the screen to be vertical, so I've printed a little stand for it uh, with my 3D printer, which is dead simple. And uh, it gives the radio a vertical appeal now. People call them a clock radio, uh, radio because of the it sits at a forty-five degree angle back. But as you can see with the little three D printed interface connection to it, it's a, it it stands vertical. Now it's a great little radio for anyone getting into amateur radio, especially the newbies. It's a, it's ideal. The only thing it is missing uh, is. Well, two things really is an automatic ATU, so you have to get an external ATU for it for HF, uh, and it misses a second receiver. But other than that, it basically does everything. It goes from HF to uh, UHF, covers six meters and four meters, uh, and it's all mode as well. It's dead simple to use. Uh, it gives a lot of options in one box. Oh, it does D Star as well, uh, digital D Star. Uh, the only option I went for, which is a, 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 an afterthought, reading about it before I bought it, was because people said there was issues with ALC and not putting out enough power. I decided to go for the HM One Five One microphone. Uh, I got that for twenty pounds second hand. And it makes a hell of a difference to the audio on the radio, especially on sideband. Uh, so as you can see, it's touch screen. So you can move around where you want to, just by the push of a button. I've got no HF antenna on this at the moment. It's a, it's a V2000, so it's only 6 metres, 2 metres and 70 cm. So that's 2 metres and... 77s. I say it does all mode and all band. And the, the, the price they're going for uh, second hand and what you're getting for the radio is fantastic. So simple to set up on data modes. I've just got one connector, a USB connector, going to the PC from the radio, and it gives me full cat control and audio as well going through to the computer. So, if I, on my computer, find my mouse, bring up my login software, which automatically brings up my GTX, you'll see on the radio, when it boots up, it automatically changes the radio and frequency to FT8 mode. So then we have FT8, and that's just done with one USB cable. So it's such a simple radio to use, and the options it gives you are really, really good. Sorry, my finger was in the way. So I just close this down again. And go back to
FM. As you can see, the readout's fantastic on it as well. Lovely readout. The touch screen is really sensitive and really good on it. It's uh, it's just a great shack in the box radio, and I say it was especially for people who have short of space either in the shack or in the room or on the desk. It's ideal. It really is a cracking little radio. The it, you can also program it with Chirp. So if you run Chirp software, which is free, and you bring up the memories, you can put in. Your memory channels, where you can see all the PMR channels. And you can switch between them all. There's uh, five banks of memories. So you've got A, which I've programmed for the repeaters. You have B, which I've got me uh, for listening to PMR. C, I've got the marine channels. D, I've got aircraft, so there's aircraft as well, my local ones, and E, I have some random PMR channels, so it's so simple to, to program, so simple to use. I think there's 495 memories in it, uh, a standard, has a so simple menu system as well, very very similar to the other icon radios like the 7300, but I thought I'd put a little video up just because if you're thinking about a radio and you've not come across one of these before, Especially if you're new to the hobby. A lot of people go in for something like the 7300, which only gives you HF to 6 metres. It includes 4 metres as well. This gives you the extra options. I think it's at a lot lower price as well. I mean, I picked this up as a bargain in second hand, and it was boxed. And it is like new. Uh, it come pre-programmed, I just wiped it all clear and put in my own details and reprogram the memories with shape and it was a, it's, it's a cracking little radio like I said at the moment I'm using it for uh, 6 metres, 2 metres and 70 cms the audio quality also is great the audio transmit quality is great it's fully configurable you can you change your, your bandwidth and everything for your audio settings out. Uh, I think it's 100 watts on HF and I'm not sure if it's like HF and 6 metres. I think 2 and 70 is 50 watts on each band, which is adequate enough. Uh, I have used it on FT8 in the last couple of days, setting it up, and it works fantastic, even just with a, a white stick antenna. I'm getting uh, contacts all over the UK with around about 20, 25 watts on FT8. So it's uh, it's sensitive as well. So if you're in the market for a radio and you're looking for something shack in the box to do everything uh, and you're prepared to forego the second receive and the auto ETU, I don't think you can go far wrong with the, uh, the ICOM IC7100. I hope that gives you a little bit more insight. I say I know the videos have been done to death on this radio and I did watch a video last week before I bought this from it Martin Lynch. 12 p.m. Sorry, that was me at other radio. Uh, I did watch a video from Martin Lynch asking was this, this radio still uh, popular and still you could use it in, the, uh, in 2025 and I think it is. So if you want to look more in depth, I've looked at Martin Lynch's site, I've looked at their video and it does tell you a lot more about it. But from a, my point of view as a, 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 as a user and a normal radio on, uh, I don't think you can go far wrong with this. 
Okay, 7-3 for now from Ricky G's NOLZX. Thank <laughs> you.